In this tutorial, we'll show you how to combine several simple products into a variable product. Basically, we'll convert simple products into variations, and then we'll merge them into a new variable product. Maybe you've decided to combine all Nike shirts with different colors into a variable product called Nike shirts, so the customers just select the variation they want, instead of opening several products. For this, we'll need to use the WooCommerce product spreadsheet plugin. It displays all your WooCommerce products on a spreadsheet and allows you to apply massive changes to them using the bulk edit tool. Also, you can convert products into other post types. And as you'll see, you can convert simple products into variations and combine them into a variable product. You can install the plugin using the link in the description of this video. The first step you need to follow is to create the attributes for the variation. For that, go to Products, Attributes, and create a new attribute. Let's create a Product Color attribute. We'll create three colors, Black, White, and Red. Once you've created the product attributes, you can open the product spreadsheet by going to WP Sheet Editor, Edit Products. You'll see all your products and their complete information displayed on the spreadsheet. As you can see, we've created three Nike shirt products, black, white, and red. Now we'll create a new variable product. For that, enter one and click on add new. This will create a new row on the spreadsheet, which will configure as a variable product. For that, go to the type column and select variable. Now go to the color column and select the three colors we created, black, white, red. Finally, save the changes. After creating the variable product and selecting its colors, we need to change the post type of the simple products will convert into variations. For that, let's go to the post type column, enable, and change the post type from product to product variation. Then, select the parent product. In this case, it's Nike shirts. Finally, select the color for each variation and save changes. When you combine the products, the variations will continue using the old stock, price SKU code, and image from the product before the conversion. However, you can add new stock, regular price SKU code, image, and any other information to the variations. You can edit all the information to customize the variations as you want. Once you save the changes, you can click on display variations on the toolbar and the spreadsheet will reload. The variations will be displayed next to the parent product. This is how the customers will see the Nike shirts product in the store. It's really simple to merge simple products into a variable product. This process works for combining products in bulk. You can edit many rows at the same time or copy and paste the changes into many cells to do it faster. You can download the plugin following the link in the description. Visit our website to get live chat support for free. Subscribe and don't miss any of our videos.